All right, so that was called the drop change, and I'll be teaching you how to do that right now. So what you're going to want to do is first find any random card that you want to, no matter how you get it. Let's just say you have con you have forced the spectator's card to the second to top position. So let's say they selected the nine of clubs, and they have lost it somewhere in the middle of the deck. It doesn't matter where they've lost it. So let's say let's say you gave it out to the spectator, and they set it right there. And then even after that, you gave it a couple cuts or you shuffled the deck. Really doesn't matter at this point. Um, let's just say we did that. Now, the top card is not their card. And the bottom card is not their card. What you're going to do is you're going to do this drop change. When you do this drop change, it's going to take these top two cards and it's going to flip them to make it their card. So first, you want to find out a way to control their card to the second top. I'll leave a entire playlist of controls up there and over here at the end of the video so you guys can check that out now once you've controlled their card to the second to top position or you just want to do a fun color change for Instagram magic or something this is the card you're going to change to first you're going to flip over the top card and you're going to catch a break under both cards like that so you have a break under both cards and that's really easy to do so if you want to as you're pushing off this one and you're going to flip this one over push this one over catch a break and push it back you're all set here. So you can just put this on top. You now have a break under both cards. Now once you're here, you're gonna bring up above the, like closer to the sky and make sure that the only thing that's really contacting the top two cards is your pinky that's underneath. Your pinky should really be the only thing because if you're holding onto it like this and you do something, nothing's gonna happen. Now at this point, once you bring up high, you're gonna drop your hand really fast. And what's gonna happen is the wind, is, the actual, literally the wind is going to hit your card, the air resistance is going to hit the card right here where the break is, and it's going to flip the card over for you. And then you'll be left clean as a whistle. I don't know if you guys actually have heard of that phrase because I'm, I'm, from, I'm from Indiana and people from Indiana say that kind of thing. So you have this card here, just like so, and you're going to have, the wind's going to hit it, it's going to flip it over just like that and as soon as that is done you, your cleanup's already done you don't have to do a k move you don't have to do anything it's not like an urnace change where you're here and you do the change but then once you're done with the change you're kind of screwed because then you have two cards here they say well i want to see it you're like well i'm just kind of dead so then you have to hit some urn some km move to kind of ditch that back card but either way that's the urnace change and the km move i'll leave those up there and down in the description or here and there or somewhere on the screen at the end of the video. Either way, that is the drop change. You can also do that one-handed, which is really fun because you can take the card and flip it over one-handed and then do a thumb count, do the change where it flips, and then just turn the last card over, which is really fun because you can do an entire color change with one hand. Now, if you learn how to do a control with one hand, that would be a lot harder. But it is possible to control a card with one hand if you're really, really talented. So you can do, really do an entire trick all with one hand, or you can just do the control with two hands. Here's your really messed up control. I don't know why you'd make a control this difficult. Either way, then you can say, now watch this, and then you do the whole thing one-handed without dropping the card. Either way, make sure to check out these videos here on screen. You can subscribe to me there. Make sure to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. And make sure to drop a comment in if you guys want me to do more color changes on, here on the channel. This is Card Perfect, signing off.